In this video, we're going to evaluate 2 to the power of 53 multiplied by 5 to the power of 49 without a calculator. So the first thing we're going to do is express our powers in expanded form. We'll start with 2 to the power of 53. What does that look like? Well, we're going to be multiplying 2 53 times. Now, I don't have room to show that in expanded form, but what I'm going to do is put these curly brackets, like so, and I'm going to write 53, meaning that we're multiplying 2 53 times. Now, we'll do the same thing with the 5s. We're multiplying 5, this time 49 times. Once again, I can't really write that down. I can't fit that on the page. So I'm going to use my curly brackets to show that I'm multiplying 5 49 times. Now the funny thing about multiplication is it doesn't matter what order you multiply things in. For example, 3 times 4 is 12 and 4 times 3 is 12. You can swap the order when you multiply numbers. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to do this. We're going to go 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 and so on. Now how many times can I do this? Well some of you might have worked out that we can only do this 49 times. Why 49? Well we only have 49 fives, so we've used up all the fives. We still have some twos left over. How many twos do you think are left over? You've probably worked out there's four of them. We had 53 twos, we've used 49 of them meaning we've got four twos left over. Now I can't just get rid of those twos, so I need to write that at the end, that we've got four twos left over, like so. Now you might have noticed that two times five is 10. So we're actually going 10 times 10 times 10, 49 times. We can write this as 10 to the power of 49. We also had our four twos. Now two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. So we have 49 tens multiplied by 16. We can write that as 16 times 10 to the power of 49. Now each time I show my working, I should be putting an equal sign down like so. So where do I go from here? Some of you might know, every time you multiply by 10, you just put a zero at the end of a number. So our solution is simply 16 with 49 zeros at the end of it. Now the problem we're faced with here is that we know the solution, but we still can't write it down. It would take too long to write down 49 zeros. What do we do in this situation? Well, we have to use something known as scientific notation. And scientific notation looks a lot like our solution over here, with a slight difference. When you use scientific notation, it actually has to be written in the form 1.6. You aren't allowed to write it as 16. And that's fine, we can do that. We simply need to change this to a power of 50 to make up for the fact that we put a decimal in between the one and the six. Both of these solutions are exactly the same, it's just that one of them, the one down the bottom, has been put in correct scientific notation form. In fact, let's look at what happens when I work this out on a calculator. Two to the power of 53 multiplied by five to the power of 49 gives me 1.6 times 10 to the power of 50. You will notice that the calculator also gave us a solution in scientific notation. The calculator also cannot fit the whole number, so they had to use scientific notation just like us. Anyway, that concludes our problem for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon.